hear me? Yes. Hello, everybody. Uh, hello to the Swiss students. Uh, so, uh, as you know, today it's a big day of introduction. So, I, I, I before um, leave um, Juan Perez Miranda, which is our vice rector. I don't know how you say that in English, of uh, uh, international relations, and then our director of architecture, which is Felipe Samaran, which will tell you uh, something about a little bit about our university and then I will explain you a little bit more how it's going to be this workshop and how it's going to be uh, especially the day of today which is a very intensive day. I just would like to be sure that everybody knows everybody knows how to ride a bike. No? Yes. <laughs> because we had one one case. Okay. Yes. Hello, good morning everyone. So my role here is just to welcome you, so it's an, an easy task for me. Uh, as my, in my role of Vice Rector for International Re Relations, uh, well, I, I just uh, want to welcome you to our university in the name of our rector. And for us, it's a great pleasure to have you here. Probably you know uh, that we are a young university in Madrid. We are just 22 years old, almost like you, the students, but uh, we are quite innovative. You could say that we try to do things in a different way. Maybe you have an opportunity these days to see about the Madrid architecture, but about how we are doing things. Um, in terms of international relations, which is my role here, we are always glad to welcome uh, visitors, beca visitors because we believe it's a unique opportunity to understand uh, how you know how you do things, how we do things, and this relationship is really what makes the difference. Because, well, you know that you can study everything, you can work in your own environment, but the world is more open uh, every day. So for us, it's also um, a good opportunity to understand about Switzerland, about your architecture, and uh, about Geneva, although you are, you, you are here in Madrid. And, and this will be interesting for our students and teachers, that you can tell them about your, your city, how you also see things in, in, in the architectural um, way on also in, in the way of life. So uh, welcome and please feel free to, to demand from us whatever you need those days, although the organization has been very very precise and very tight, but also uh, be open to, to ask for, for anything that you, you think you need. And, and again, we are very happy to have you here. And I introduce now Felipe, which is the director of architecture which will give you a few words about how we are um, seeing the architecture these days on what is the, the main vision of our School of Architecture here in Madrid. Hello, good morning. My name is Felipe. Uh, I'm the director of the University uh, of Architecture and I'm glad to have you here. I have to uh, especially thank Nicola for uh, this exchange program, this uh, workshop, and Elena for her big efforts to keep this alive every year. So when we start a joint venture as this one is, we need to know, especially for you students for coming from Switzerland, so who is these people that we're meeting now? What's their uh, brand uh, or the way we could recognize them any other place in the world? And there's four things that we attempt to do with our university, which is very young, as our vice rector just meant. The first thing is that we're focused on an architecture centered on the person. What does that mean? That means that we're interested on in who are our students before they even start studying with us. We kind of uh, guide them to choose what they're going to be or where their future may be. We're concerned about who they are while they're here, especially having a attention personally developed to be serving what they need and then we care about who they are when they finish studying with us. So we're not only interested while they're students, but how are they gonna work, where are they gonna be, and how do they do that? The second thing that we're interested in is we are developing architecture or studying architecture that's strongly based on reality. That's why you're going to be working on the Mau Calderon area, and you're gonna be facing a challenge that the city from Madrid really has. You're going to see how the site looks like. You're going to hear the people who are really having something to say about it. 
and those who are in charge of the development of the area. And that's a very big area of the city that has become obsolete and now needs a new refurbish and needs to become something new and have a new offer for the university or for the city, I mean. Our third pillar would be that we have a wider scope of employability. Uh, the new century has come and the new uh, paper or the new task for the architecture has changed. We cannot pretend to be architects as our parents were or as the past uh, has been demanding from us and we need to know what society really wanting from us. How, do we, how are we going to face that? And we as teachers, we face a challenge which is to teach you how to do things or how to solve problems that today are not yet problems with the tools that today are not available. So how would we do that? How would we face those challenges? And that's our task at the moment. That is, how are we going to look at reality? How is our look into that reality? And then the fourth one is to become international, not because the reality of in any country may not be the one we desire, but because the world has shrunk within the last years, the last decades, and whatever happens in Greece is affecting us. Whatever happens in Syria or whatever happens with Boko Haram is going to have an effect on ourselves. So we need to know that working together and having a new perspective on how things are done is broadening our uh, field of sc or scope of where can we work, what can we do. Now, getting together for this workshop is a new way of seeing that people may face the work in a different way, that people may have a different look at, a, at the same subject, and working in groups that are uh, mixed from students from Switzerland and Spain, what gives us is the opportunity. Well, we're going to have many students from uh, South America as well, and Central America, which are our students in, at this moment in, in Madrid. And that gives us the opportunity of seeing how would they do that. So I encourage you to enjoy the difference instead of trying to seek for what seems familiar to my way of working. Everything that sounds different is what we're looking for. It's what makes your experience in Madrid more valuable. So I encourage you to enjoy it, enjoy this week, and uh, enjoy the program that Elena has so carefully prepared for you. We hope it's uh, strong enough so that you can go back home with a strong experience of architecture and a good uh, view of what Madrid has to offer for you. So thank you very much. Okay, so uh, I believe you all have received the program, but I will, we will go through it just to have an, an idea. Um, so today, um, as you know, it's, um, it's an intensive program with a lot of input. It's the, the idea is to have a first day of a lot of input where you will receive a lot of uh, lectures. And then we have four days uh, to um, end this work workshop. The first thing I tell to my students, because four days, it's always very short, it's to think in half days. So suddenly you have eight days instead of four days, because if you take the morning and the afternoon, it will be easier. So let's say that we have between four and eight days. So um, first of all, just to tell you the teachers, the tutors that we will have, uh, <coughs> for the Spanish and for the Swiss students. So the, I will be here all the week. We will have also Pablo Ramos, which is on the back, and Enrique Bañez, this is the Madrid representant. Then uh, uh, for the Spanish students, you, have, uh, you will have, I think, all the week, it's Nicola and uh, Blanca. And for three days, uh, we will have uh, Nicola and Alicia, which are here, which are the teachers. So the, the one of, Felipe was talking about this mix, mixing of culture. The one of, of the interest, I think, uh, also it's that you will receive the uh, different input from different cultures and different way of seeing architecture. So there's also this interest. Um, we, we have also uh, some lectures which are uh, organized for, uh, especially on Monday and Tuesday. So to this afternoon, I think there's two lectures which are very important, which are, one, it's the planning director of the city, which is Javier Hernandez, who will talk you what are the expectative that the city of Madrid has 
and it's uh, to, to all this area, as you know, and I don't know if you had time to look a little bit about it, there is already a big project of, with two towers. And uh, the, the author of those two towers, which is Carlos Rubio, which is also one of the author of one of the four towers which has been built in Madrid, will talk you about the, his project and his intention for this site, which will give you, let's say, this reality, this way uh, of what the city and what the author of the, 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 um, of the t towers is, uh, is planning. That doesn't mean that we must do what the city or what the author is uh, planning. No, it's, uh, I think it's always important to know what it's planned and then in four days a workshop, it's the idea also to uh, offer a different strategic approach which maybe are, can be opposite or different of what it's planned. Um, we will have also two other lectures tomorrow uh, at the middle of the day of Joaquin Mosquera. Joaquin is a, a teacher also here. He's been uh, uh, formed in Colombia and he will talk about uh, uh, big infrastructures, which I think it's, you are in the middle of a big infrastructure with all this Madrid Rio. So uh, that one, I think, would be a, a lecture which will give you some input uh, very specific for this place without uh, studying the, the, this place. And then we'll have Jorge Orondo, which is also another teacher here, who will give us a lecture of um, uh, energetic uh, environment and strategies, strategies, new strategies for that. This is for the lecture part. Uh, so today, as you know, uh, uh, now we will give you, we have two students which are helping us all the week. So we will, give a, we will give you as the group. I don't know if you've already received the group, but we tried. It's a very, when we say international workshop, it's really an international workshop because we have a lot of Erasmus also, which are here. So we have uh, Belgium students, students from Lyon, students from uh, Rome, uh, from, I don't know, from, uh, I think from also Milan. So it's Swiss students. I don't know if you have some Erasmus also. Most of them are Erasmus as well. It, so it can be more, I don't know what will be the language, we hope it's English, but I believe it will be a Spanish English, Italian English, we don't know. Uh, something also very important about a workshop. Uh, it's a very intensive work, You'll, you will be uh, seven, seven students. We have some students of fifth year who, have, who, who cannot be here always because they have some program, but they will try to be. Um, it's a very, you're a lot, so you're, you, must, you must feel like a little fabric which is working all together, and uh, there will be moments when you work very intensive. I don't know, I know that most of my students haven't done already a workshop, but when we work in, f in four days, you have an intensive work. It's a, let's see, it's very near of what will be then your job, because when you're in a studio, well, you must uh, uh, find a new solution, and you must try to, to get along well with other people of the studio and, so, and most of the time there is a very intensive and short time. So what I would like to say is uh, don't desperate because on, normally on, on Wednesday there is a big desperation in the, in the workshop and then on Friday it, it's low down, it's go well. Try to be open mind because the, you must put together a lot of different ideas and everybody wants to fight for his idea, so there is this idea that you must, uh, we will be here also, but here, be, be, um, be, uh, try to be friendly with, uh, with the other ideas. And then also, when I told that you're a little fabric, we've made a model, so I believe that part of the workshop, it will be interesting that could be with a model, we have a, a special room down where the students will, will show you, so the idea also, it's when we are in the final round, which is Friday morning, Normally try to divide yourself, see who's good doing images, who's good doing model, and think that you're a little fabric and you must take the better of, of each one. Um, another thing for today, so we are leaving, uh, we will have uh, Enrique, who's, Enrique Bañez, whose work with West 8, which are the author of uh, Madrid Rio, which will make us all this bike too. We will see all the Madrid Rio, which is the natural prolongation of this area. And then we will visit Matadero, which is, um, yeah, I think it's, I don't know if we can go in, are we going in Matadero? No, we're going to see it from the outside. Then we will see it our area. It's not easy to arrive to our area because it's closed. We will try to, to get in. It was, uh, we tried to organize it, but it was difficult to have, a, so I'm not sure that we can go completely in, but we will have 
uh, we will visit all the around area and then um, we have in the afternoon those those uh, those uh, lectures before some logistic things I will pass really quickly this part so on on the idea is that on Tuesday we you've all received some topics no which are very general topics uh, to who you will analyze from who you who you will analyze the city so the idea is that Monday, uh, Tuesday, it's, an, it's a day of analyzing where you will take some uh, decisions, strong decision. And on Wednesday, there is this um, important day that's when you present us, we will have probably another room or maybe we'll do it here. It depends on the noise. Sometimes there's a lot of noise because we will be like, we are 60 students, I think, no? 59, 60 students. So here there's a, just to have you an idea of how it's gonna work. Four days is a very short time. So the idea we have is that on Wednesday, it's when all the teachers are here, you give us your first idea of analysis and proposal that you're going to have. So that then, sigue un poquito más, por favor. So that then on uh, Thursday and Friday, we can try to put together your proposal. So it's, uh, it's very important that you take this idea that it's a very short time. It's a big area. So it's important to make shortcuts to be very clear uh, of on one big idea, we will have time to, to go at, uh, at your table and discuss about that. On, on uh, Tuesday, we will explain you, because I think it's important you know what we are expecting at the end of the day. We've prepared a documentation so that you uh, are clear about what we're expecting after four days. There's not a lot of graphic representation, but there will be a, a, a sort of a general uh, uh, presentation for everybody so that we can have a for, we can have a um, global idea no so everybody will have a uh, templates. templates templates some templates that all the group will have so that we can you can all uh, stick to those templates and it will take take uh, it will take less time to to finish it uh, what more I want to say you uh, well, for the jury, it will be a, we will have Gemma Peribanes. She will come also now to give you a lecture. She's uh, working with the studio of uh, Jose Maria Esquiaga, which now it's, he's in charge of making a project on the, in the north area of Madrid. And she will, they've, they've won a competition, a European competition, which was um, uh, with their project of Madrid Center. So she will give you also, uh, although we are working in the south part of Madrid, she will also give you a general view of all the strategic which is now uh, which, which now the city of Madrid has planned. So this will be the the, the first uh, the first lecture that we will have, and then we'll have Felipe and Joaquin who, who will be there. Some questions. Everything is clear at the beginning.